In this video, we're going to complete example two. Once again, we're adding and subtracting fractions and expressing our solution in simplest form. What you'll notice that is different is the denominators. So for question A, the denominators are different. They're four and eight. For question B and C, you'll notice the denominators are different as well. Now, the very first rule says that you can only add or subtract fractions when the denominator is the same. So how are we going to add and subtract these fractions? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to force the denominators to become the same number. How do we do that? Well, looking at question A, I'm going to take the first fraction 1 over 4 and I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. Remember that the golden rule with fractions is that you can multiply or divide the top and the bottom of a fraction by the same number. So why is this useful? Well, if we take the fraction 1 over 4 and multiply both the top and the bottom by 2, 1 times 2 is 2 and 4 times 2 is 8. The second fraction 5 over 8 will stay the same and we now have two fractions with the same denominator. Our solution will have the same denominator of 8 and 2 plus 5 when we add our numerators equals 7. And that's our solution for A, 7 over 8. Let's now move on to question B. You'll notice the denominators are different. One of them has a denominator of 3 and one has a denominator of 9. So I would like to turn the 3 into a 9. How would I do that? Well, I could times it by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. The rule being that if I multiply the bottom by 3, I've got to multiply the top. By the same number. So we get 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9 for our first fraction and our second fraction stays the same, stays as 1 over 9. Now our denominators are the same, I know that my solution will have a denominator of 9 and 6 minus 1 gives me 5 for the numerator. Let's now move on to question C. I want to force the denominators to be the same. I look at my lower number, which is 5. I could times that by 4, and that will make 20. So I'll times the 5 by 4, and I times the top number by the same number. Okay, so my first fraction stays as 8 over 20, and my second fraction, 1 times 4 is 4, and 5 times 4 is 20 and I'm going to subtract these fractions. The denominator stays the same, it stays as 20, and eight minus four gives me a numerator of four. Now, I did want you to also put your solutions in simplest form, so I'm gonna halve this fraction. Half of four is two, and half of 20 is 10, and I can halve it again. Half of two is one, and half of 10 is five. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.